Hello friends, welcome back to Rising Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve an interesting question based on the concept of Greningness functions in time scale. Question is, E for time scale, T consists of finitely many points. Calculate summation mu T, where T is the point in the given time scale T. Now note that mu is the forward Greningness function which is defined as mu T is equals to sigma of T minus T. So we will start our solution. Let us consider t is the given time scale with finitely many points, say t0, t1, t2 and so on, tn minus 1 and tn. We can represent this time scale in a pictorial form like this. So these are finitely many points of the given time scale. So t is the time scale containing finitely many points and all points are scattered points. Then we have mu t0 is equals to sigma t0 minus t0 by definition. Now sigma t0 is the next number t1. So here sigma t0 is the next number t1. So we get mu t0 equals to t1 minus t0. Mu t1 is equals to sigma t1 minus t1. Again sigma t1 is t2 which is next number. So we get mu t1 equals to t2 minus t1. Similarly mu t2 is equals to sigma t2 minus t2 which is t3 minus t2 since for t2 next number is t3 and sigma t3 equals to sorry mu t3 equals to sigma t3 minus t3 which is equals to t4 minus t3 since sigma t3 is next number t4 continuing in this way we get mu tn minus 1 is equals to sigma tn minus 1 minus tn minus 1 and sigma tn minus 1 is tn so here we can observe that tn minus 1 have next point or next number tn so sigma tn minus 1 is tn and we get mu tn minus 1 equals to tn minus t n minus 1 thus we have summation mu t for each point t in the given time scale t equals to mu t naught plus mu t1 plus mu t2 plus mu t3 plus and so on plus mu t n minus 1 so substituting values of mu t naught mu t1 and so on mu t n minus 1 we get t1 minus t0 plus t2 minus t1 plus t3 minus t2 plus t4 minus t3 plus and so on plus tn minus 1 minus tn minus 2 plus tn minus t n minus 1. Now here we can observe that t1 will get cancelled with minus t1, t2 will get cancelled with minus t2, this t3 will get cancelled with minus t3 and so on tn minus 1 will get cancelled with tn minus 1. Again this minus tn minus 2 will get cancel with plus t n minus 2 somewhere here and finally we get summation mu t for each point t in the given time scale t equals to t n minus t naught. Now note that t n is the maximum of the given time scale maximum point here and t naught is the minimum point of the given time scale. So in general for a given time scale t consisting of finitely many points we can say that summation mu t for each point t in the given time scale t equals to maximum of given time scale t minus minimum of the given time scale t and this completes our solution. 